Hello and welcome to our instructional series of videos. In this installment, we're going to show you how to upgrade or install a PCIe SSD in a 2014 Mac Mini. We've already gathered our materials, shut down and unplugged the Mini, and are working on a soft static-free surface. We're now ready to begin. The first step is to flip the Mac Mini over so that the bottom foot is facing up and the words Mac Mini are facing you. There are three posts inside holding the bottom foot on, each located about a third of the way around the edge. Use a nylon pry tool to lift up on the foot next to each post, disconnecting each snap until all three are free. You can then set the plastic foot aside. Using a Torx T6 security screwdriver, first remove the three posts that held the foot on. Then, you can remove the remaining three screws holding the metal cover in place. Once you've removed all six screws, you can lift up and move the metal grate down and to the right. Be careful not to move it too far as the cover is still attached by the airport antenna cables. If your Mac Mini already has a PCIe SSD installed, it will be located here. All you'll need to do to remove it is unscrew the Torx T5 screw here and then wiggle the old drive out of its socket. If your Mac Mini didn't come with a PCIe SSD, then you'll need to install the appropriate connection cable first. Near the rear of the connector cable are two small holes. These line up with two pins on the right side of the SSD bay. First though, you'll need to remove the paper backing on the adhesive located on the bottom of the cable. Then, align the two pins over the holes. On the other end of the cable, there is a push connector that attaches to the socket on the logic board. Bend the cable back a little bit, then bend it slightly forward so the cable has a slight rise. You can then push the connector into its socket. Next, find the small metal plate included with the cable kit and remove the paper backing on the adhesive. Line up the plates so its two holes line up with the two screw posts next to the connector. Then, secure the plate using the two small Torx T6 screws included with your kit. Now it's time to install the PCIe SSD itself. There's a notch in the SSD that lines up with the pin in the drive slot, so make sure the two are aligned. Due to the small area we're working in, you need to make sure that the non-connector end is underneath the ridge of the Mac Mini's case before you seat it in its slot. Once the drive is seated, you can then secure it using the wide top Torx T5 screw. Now it's time to close back up. Move the top grate back into position and secure it into place using the three large and three small Torx T6 security screws. Begin with the small screws starting next to the airport antenna cover and then every other hole around. Then put the thicker posts in the remaining holes. To replace the plastic foot, line up the holes in the foot with the posts on the Mini. And press them together until they snap into place. You may now flip your Mac Mini over, hook it up, and turn it on.